headway. It's not HBO, it's the MTA. <laughs> it's not HBO, it's the MTA. Get an egg way. Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, I have a confession to make. I love riding the New York City subway system. <laughs> I'm talking, no, I do. I mean, the almighty MTA, the Metropolitan Transit Authority. What a better place to get all my entertainment. <laughs> I'm saying entertainment, really, because we've had horror stories. Now, trust me, I've had horror stories, too. One time I'm on a train. Packed summer, six. There's a guy standing this close to me with unbelievable bad breath. And he kept going like this. Oh, really? And then on this side, I have the subway evangelist, who for some reason was speaking in a really sick African accent, telling me that I'm going to hell in a handbasket because I didn't bring my Bible on the train that day. <laughs> oh, brother. You didn't bring your Bible today on the train. Oh, no. You need your Bible to because Jesus is the only way you can find your destination. I said, I know. That's why I buy my Metro card from a guy named Jesus. <laughs> This is all wild. Some guy who must have eaten a bad bowl of chili is on the train testing my manhood with unrestrained flatulence. <laughs> and you know why I say testing my manhood? Yes, it's because he thinks I'm, I'm going to whip out. He thinks I'm going to get off the train before my stop. He thinks I won't take the smell. Oh, but oh no. I'm a seasoned writer, so I stand there. Get your mind. Teeth gritty. Now there's a tear running down my eye. <laughs> because that's where all the good air is. I make it to my stop. I get home, and then I pass out. But, but you get the point. This entertainment that was entertainment to somebody else. The two things I love. I love when people lose their minds on the subway for no reason at all. Lady walks in, and she goes to that corner seat. You know that corner seat with the bar? The only thing is she's saying, excuse me, in that tone that you're not sure whether she's being polite or she wants to fight you. Excuse me! Excuse me! No excuse, yes. But the problem is, she sits by that corner. You know that little bar there? You put your bar on your arm there. So when people walk in, their butt might hit your, 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 your shoulder. It happens. It's a butt. It's this part of train. You can't control your butt. Butts are everywhere. <laughs> she sits down. A lady comes in. Her butt hits her shoulder. She breaks up. Oh, no, you didn't. You didn't just put your nasty butt on my shoulder. <laughs> what happens when somebody screams in the subway? Huh? Crazy person alert. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People go, people go, crazy person. Oh, my stop. Turn it out. Turn it out. Oh, but not me. I said, oh yeah, entertain it. <laughs> so she's sitting there, all pissed off, screaming at this thing. Oh, uh. incredibly, a guy next to was falling asleep. His head is aiming for her shoulder. So she said, can you take some nasty people on the train? I said, poop. <laughs> oh, don't Just put your head on my shoulder. She's going to get this out, she's going to get this out. And all while the guy in front of her drops his keys, incredibly, and picks them up like this. His butt is going right for her knee. Everybody in the train is like, oh no, I'm like, yes, yes, it's so good, it's so good. And it just comes, boom, and just misses her knee. Everybody in the train was like, <laughs> not me. I was pissed. I wanted that butt to hit the knee. That's why you're hitting like this. What else am I going to get? Now she would have blown up and maybe the train would have been delayed and nobody likes that. The other thing I love and just blows my mind is when people run for the train when they know they're going to miss it. Oh, wait, hello! Oh, man! Dude, the door was closing when you were at the set. This guy gets on the train. Now, you know, New York City subway door closes. If you put anything in the door, train's not going to go. This guy goes, and I cannot make this up, and he puts this portion of his finger in the door. So he runs, boom, 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 boom. Come on. 
So the conductor, so the conductor does one of two things. You know that. He either opens the door and lets you walk in, or he does that thing. It's the MTA. 